Imagine you are an orchestra. You play the violin, you play the flute, you play the cello, you might play the harp, and you play the piano. So now, if you all play with the same rhythm and you keep the tempo, your music can be a pleasure. But imagine now if you all start playing with different rhythms. Your music is going to be unlistenable. That's why rhythm is very important in music. But let me tell you that rhythm is not just important in music. Rhythm is also crucial in biology. Indeed, as living organisms, we have adapted to the rotation of the Earth that, as we all experience every day, produces an alternation of day and night, light and darkness, warm and cold. And because of that, we developed an internal rhythm called circadian rhythm, where circa means about and dian means a day. This very fascinating rhythm is a tempo of about 24 hours and tells us when it's time to go to bed or time to wake up, time to be active or time to rest, time to eat or time to fast. So now, as for an orchestra with unsynchronized players, a defective circadian rhythm can have very unpleasant consequences. Indeed, if our internal clock doesn't tick in synchrony with the external environment, we have an increased risk of developing diseases like diabetes, psychiatric disorders, or even cancer. So, if we zoom into our cells, we see that every one of them has a ticking clock made of molecules that oscillates in a very coordinated manner, allowing us to keep our 24 hours tempo. Another process that occurs into the cell is the so-called cell cycle, which transforms one cell into two. This cell cycle typically lasts one day and causes a cell to progressively increase in size, duplicate its genetic material, and eventually split in two, giving rise to the other cells, identical to their mother. This process too needs to be finally regulated, otherwise the cells will continuously proliferate, giving rise to uncontrolled proliferation, which will eventually lead to cancer. So, during my thesis, I zoom into two cells and try to find out if these two processes are connected at the single cell level. And with the help of fluorescent microscopy and mathematical models, I finally got the answer. And the answer is, yes, these two cycles are very tightly synchronized. So these findings remind us how important is synchronization in biological system to keep balancing our cells, tissues, and full body. And reminds us how important is to keep the tempo. Thank you.